Republicans are about to send President Donald Trump their first bona fide legislative accomplishment, as both chambers of Congress prepare to pass their tax bills on Tuesday. The House of Representatives is expected to clear the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act conference report on Tuesday afternoon. While top Republicans say they expect the bill to easily pass, 13 moderates who opposed the tax measure in the House the first time around are expected to remain opposed. I am still going to be a no, Rep. Dan Donovan, R. New York, said. The changes in the SALT state and local tax deduction actually don't satisfy the needs of the people that I represent. It's still a bill that's going to give tax relief to other parts of America on the backs of New Yorkers. And so, I am still going to vote no. Once the lower chamber approves the measure, the Senate is expected to quickly follow suit. If the legislation survives any potential Democratic procedural challenges in the upper chamber, the president could sign the bill as early as Wednesday. With the GOP unable to send the American Health Care Act to the White House, passage of the tax overhaul would finally furnish a decisive legislative victory for the president, closing out one of Trump's chief campaign promises just before Christmas. But Rep. Peter King, another New York Republican who plans to vote against the plan, says that Republican voters in his district won't count the bill as a win for the president. People who voted for Trump are very disappointed, King told reporters Monday evening. It's certainly unpopular in my district. That's all I am hearing from Republicans. The legislation maintains seven tax brackets, with the country's wealthiest earners enjoying a top rate decrease from 39.6% to 37%. It also dramatically cuts the corporate rate from 35% to 21%. Republicans crafted the bill with the aim to simplify the tax code by cutting loopholes for special interests. But the new rules preserve many popular deductions, such as for mortgage interest, student loans, adoptions, and charitable giving. The measure also repeals Obamacare's individual mandate, which requires people to buy health insurance or pay a penalty. That could lead to 13 million more Americans without health insurance, according to the Congressional Budget Office, though it would save $338 billion in federal health insurance subsidy payments over the next decade. The bill, which carries an estimated $1.5 trillion price tag over 10 years, is not expected to win any Democratic support. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi points to a new analysis from the Nonpartisan Tax Policy Center that predicts 86 million people would see a tax increase compared to current law by 2027, while 83 percent of the anticipated benefits would be reaped by the wealthiest 1 percent of taxpayers. Republicans will vote to let the wealthiest 1 percent steal the future of the middle class in America, Pelosi, D. California, stated. The GOP tax bill will go down as one of the most scandalous, obscene acts of plutocracy ever. Rep.